So on today's episode of Sam Could Have Been Somebody, uh, this is actually something that um, I still get stopped in bars over uh, these uh, next clips. And uh, it's always by women uh, because I uh, actually played <laughs> Letterman Lou on uh, season three, episode 44 of Sex in the City. Sex in Another City. Yes, it was shot in L.A. I was actually living in New York at the time and coincidentally w happened to be out in L.A. Uh, and uh, so uh, here it is. Of course, uh, we have uh, some of my office mates are pretty excited about this. Right, ladies? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Let's uh, hit play. Lou asked Miranda to meet him at The Flowing Tree. Surrounded by all these tan, fit, happy people, she knew she would recognize pale, chubby, unhappy Lou immediately. Miranda? Oh my god! Do I look that different? Well, let's just say it's a good thing you still wear that hat. Oh, please. If you ever see me in a Lakers hat. I know. Shoot you. Exactly. <laughs> you look amazing. Thanks. You want to grab a drink? Oh, please. Yes, let's go. The sight of all these bleached teeth is blinding. No, I mean, grab something here. This place is known for its green tea infusions. Please, infusions? Could LA be any worse? Take off that hat. I'm going to shoot you right now. <laughs> Actually, I really like it here. Hang on. What happened to the guy I used to share beers with and make fun of happy people? I know, I know. The thing is, I think I'm one of those happy people now. Wow. I mean, good for you. I, I know it sounds crazy, but I think I was just supremely unhappy in New York. I mean, I came out here and I let a lot of that old toxic anger go. I take things slowly, get outside. Ellie agrees with me. Miranda realized she was the one standing out in that room. She was the only angry New Yorker for miles. Hey, let's go for a hike. See that the uh, the ladies uh, love Sex in the City, and wait to Colin. What are you doing? I'm a fan. All right. Well, uh, and now is the uh, actually this is uh, this next scene uh, the uh, I guess the coup de gras, if you will, of my um, arc, two arc, uh, two scene arc on uh, Sex in the City is uh, extremely. Uh, well known. Uh, people know me as the guy who, well, I'm not going to say. You're going to have to watch. Ladies? While I was going native with Keith, Miranda and Lou went back to New York. Or at least to the New York strip steak. Oh, this looks great. Oh my God, do I miss the smell. <laughs> so you were saying? You should really read Zen in the Art of Modern Living. It is so calming. I'm still trying to get used to bath beats. <laughs> you are so New York. Come on. Don't you miss it? Just a little? No. I get to write about it every day. That's not New York. It's a soundstage. Twenty-somethings with tiny salaries don't live in huge Soho lofts painted bright colors. It's totally fake. Uh, I think 40 million viewers would disagree with you on that. Is something wrong with your steak? No, uh-uh. It's great. What are you doing? I'm tasting my food. Why aren't you swallowing your food? Do you think I look this good by eating? Miranda realized Lou hadn't found inner peace. He'd found an eating disorder. Are you serious? Miranda, don't put your toxic shit on me. This is fucking L.A., okay? You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under here. Who cares what you look like? You're a writer. For a hit show. Trust me, no one wants to hire a fat story editor. All Miranda wanted to do was rip that Nick's hat off his head because no self-respecting New Yorker would ever spit out that good a steak. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Now I've lost my appetite. I'll tell you what, I've been stopped in bars as recently as a month ago over that Sex in the City thing. And I still get almost $32 a quarter 
and residuals from that show every time it plays on somebody's DVD or I don't know how they figure it out. But uh, so I'm doing quite well with that.